All right, this is Grade 2, Module 5, Lesson 11. And in this lesson, our students are still going to be using drawings, but specifically, they're going to be using those drawings so that students can understand the standard algorithm. So this series of lessons right now, the students are really practicing the standard algorithm uh, for addition. So in this slide, we see that we want our students to use the vertical form. So that's kind of like the Engage New York or Eureka Math vocabulary for standard algorithm. We're going to do it in vertical form. So I'll write 482 plus 369 right here. And But they want us to use the place value chart. Now, it doesn't say to do the vertical method first and then do the place value chart or they don't tell us to do the place value chart then the vertical form. So teachers and parents let your students decide which one they want to do first um, and then they use the other one to confirm their answer. That's the big key. So do let your students differentiate themselves whether they do the algorithm first or if they do the place value chart first. So we're going to begin by filling in that place value chart and we're going to start with drawing 482. So we're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4 hundreds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 tens and 2 ones. So there's our model for 482. Now let's do a model for 369. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine. Now, teachers and parents, you'll notice um, specifically I'm trying to, when I'm putting in, in these dots, I'm not doing them randomly. I'm trying to mimic the 10 frame chart, and I'm doing that on purpose um, to make it easy for the, uh, the kids to count. Okay, so now we're ready to start putting things together and bundling and getting our answer. I think what I'm going to do first, though, is I'm going to do it over here on the vertical form. So let's do that. So 2 ones plus 9 ones, that equals 11 ones. So that means we can bundle 10 of those together and have an extra 10. Then we'd have one dot left over. And then in our tens column, we have 8 tens plus 6 tens plus 1 ten. So that's 15 tens. So we can take 10 of those together and make a dot in the hundreds column. And then we have five tens left over. And then in the hundreds columns, you've got four hundreds plus three hundreds plus one hundred equals eight hundreds. So our answer in the vertical form method, our standard algorithm, is 851. Let's use the place value chart to verify that what we did was correct. So we know we have nine down here plus 2, so that's 11. So if I wanted to, I can bundle 10 of these together, so there's my 10. 10 ones can bundle together equaling an extra dot in the tens column, and we have one dot left over in the ones column. And then up here we have 8 plus another 6 plus 1, so all together we have 15. So that means we could take 10 of them. So let's see, how am I going to do this? So we have 8 up here, so I just need 2 more. So that's going to be 8 plus these 2. So this is 10. So those 10 tens equals 1 dot in the hundreds column. And we have 5 tens left over in the tens column. And then counting our hundreds, we have 4 plus 3 plus 1. So that's 8 dots in the hundreds column. And so there's our answer of 851. And you can see we get the same answer, both methods, 851. So on this one, I know the directions say to do vertical form and draw the place value chart. But I feel like at this point, our students and our teachers and our parents probably have watched enough of my videos and have seen enough examples that we can go straight to that vertical method 
And then I'm going to leave it up to you to use the place value chart to confirm our answer. So let's, let's look at this. So the first thing I want you to notice is I lined up the ones on top of the ones, the tens on top of the tens, and the hundreds on top of the hundreds. So everything's nice and lined up. And when I add up the ones, I get 16. So that means we have enough to bundle an extra dot in the tens column, and we have six left over. So there's our 16 ones. And then looking at our tens, we have three tens plus nine tens plus one ten. So adding that up, we have 13 tens. So that means we have enough to bundle a dot over here in the hundreds column, and we have three tens left over. And then our hundreds, we have six plus two plus one. That's nine in the hundreds column. So 936 is our answer. And I'm going to leave it up to you parents and teachers to use the place value chart as necessary to verify our, our answers. Students who totally understand the, st the uh, standard algorithm, they're welcome to do the standard algorithm first and then verify with the place value chart. Or even at this point, some of our students, you can begin the process of foregoing the place value chart altogether. And the last slide in this video, again, it says solve using the vertical form and the place value chart. Uh, I'll start with the standard algorithm, that vertical method. And again, remember, I'm, I'm lining up everything so that the ones are on top of the ones, tens on top of the tens, and the hundreds are on top of the hundreds. And then when we look at the hundreds, 600, uh, I mean the ones, six ones plus eight ones, that's 14 ones. So we can bundle 10, and we have four left over. And then we add the tens. Five tens plus seven tens plus one ten, that's 13 tens. So we have enough to bundle 100, and we have three tens left over. And then four tens, I mean four hundreds, plus three hundreds, plus one hundred, equals eight hundreds. So our answer is eight hundred thirty-four. I'm going to leave you, parents and teachers, the job of doing the place value chart to verify that our answer is correct. And that wraps up Grade 2, Module 5, Lesson 11, using the standard algorithm. But we're using the math drawings to verify that we're doing it correctly.